Welcome back to my channel, Caprice Feeling The Tea Lifestyle Tips. And today is May 4th, 1020 at night. And guess what? I have something to tell you guys. So if you want to know, keep watching. Okay, so yes, I have something to tell you guys. That's why I'm here. Y'all know I only upload when I got something to tell y'all. And I'm trying to make sure y'all don't kind of like see the background because confidential things. But yes, I am at work, 1040 at night. If y'all been rocking with me for a minute, y'all know that I get off at 11 o'clock. It's actually 1022. I apologize. But y'all know that I do get off at 11 o'clock. Hopefully, the next person comes in early for I can get gone. Because, honey, look at these eyes. I'm ready to go home. So two years ago, I made a video that was called 13 signs that it is time to quit your job. And that got about 113 views. I'll link that somewhere up here for you guys can go back and look at that um, video. Around that time when I made that video, um, I was pregnant with Junior and I was working at a, a hotel reservation place called IHG. I know you guys know about that company because it is worldwide and it got sold out to the Dominican Republic and Jamaica if I'm not mistaken so that job ended up shutting down but at the time I was so very glad and so happy that that job shut down because I was ready to go when I was pregnant two they were on my back and not just my back but my peers back as well they were on our back of our breaks you know, lunch, just being on the phone, constant ring, 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 ring. And if you have ever done call center before, then you know how that go. You are only able to have two 15 minute breaks and one 30 minute lunch or maybe an hour, but I wasn't for it. I wanted to have about 15, 15 minute breaks. And whenever I get back from lunch is whenever I get back from lunch. Michaela, that's all you do all day long. <laughs> that wasn't the case I had to follow rules compliance and everything else and I was just like you know what it's time for me to leave this job so I did make that video two years ago and once again just like I told you before look at that video if you go back and look at that video then you'll see what I'm talking about and while I'm making basically a part two but this time with me making this video is not going to be five reasons why or 10 signs it's not going to be that it's just going to be fully what is going on today in 2021 the thought in my mind about leaving a nine to five and becoming an entrepreneur so let me back this up it's not even signs that you just want to leave your job it's signs that you want to leave your job and become an entrepreneur a small business owner just basically working for yourself that's what this is about before it was just 13 signs that you just want to leave the job go find another nine to five this one ain't it this one is i want to leave my job and become a small business owner entrepreneur work for myself so i had to back that up and tell y'all so let's just talk about what i have been experiencing and what my peers have been experiencing Anytime that I speak to them about their job, you know, it's just constant like they're on my back. They want this done, this done, but they want to pay this. They're trying to tell us what to do and they're not trying to kick out no money. Where's the benefits? It's a constant give, but well, it's, it's not a give and take. It's a constant take, take, take and nothing to give. So I'm going to go ahead and back it up till last month because I haven't spoke to you guys since my last video and I'm just looking on my computer my last video was um where I've been that was a week ago and I did tell y'all what was going on with me then but I'm not sure I told you guys about the new company so on April the 12th we transferred over to a new company our company just packed up and left didn't tell us nothing to the very very end they sold us out to a new company and I'm thinking to myself like this is so crazy because my last company basically sold the company out and left I'm just trying to turn on the value but sold the company out and left you know like they sold it to the Dominican Republican Jamaica they gave us our little I wouldn't even say a bonus I forgot what it was called but they gave us that and they were like Kanichiwa, we out this company right here they paid us up 
all the way to work and then left. Like we transferred over to a new company. So let me just give you the rundown real quick on the last company. My last company, I ain't gonna lie, they did kind of pee me off because if you look back at my old video, I did get suspended for something that I did not do. But I was suspended for like a month and two weeks. And then I came back on the job in March of last year. But my last company, I'm not going to say the name, they paid double and triple pay. If they needed you, they will give you double and triple pay. I did not work any weekends and we did not have like, um, like a, oh, what is it called? Like a tracking device on our van. It's like we took our guys out. We went wherever we went. If we wanted to stop home, it was whatever, as long as the guys were safe. This company, totally different. They don't pay double. They definitely don't pay triple. And now they're talking about having like a tracking device on the new vehicles that we're supposed to be getting. So I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I don't care about no tracking device because I'm not trying to steal your vehicle, but we can't stop home no more or we can't stop certain places that we wanted to stop. And I'm not saying like, I stopped home all the time, but my house is just like a hop, skip and a jump away from where I work. And if my kids need me or something, I just pulls up, boo, 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 and go on by my business. You know what I'm saying? And working with the disabled, they become, I wouldn't say family, but they do become close. And they don't always want to stay up in the house. They want to see new things and they want to be in the sun. They want to go shopping because of course, we're supposed to be treating them as if it's a norm for them to do this, right? This company here is like, oh no, we ain't doing none of that. We're gonna plan their activities. If they have any activities, um, they get paid once a month. They get their haircut as needed. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, uh, no, we never went through that. Our guys got their money every week. They got their haircut like twice a month. Like we're, we're where is all these dumb rules coming from, you know? And we had no gas in the van. Like, the since they came on, we had, like, no gas in the van. When my other company, we used to stay with gas in the van, stay with food in the house. And it's like, okay, like, what's going on, you know? Y'all coming up here with all these rules, but y'all ain't got y'all stuff together. Like, what is it? So last week... Um, we had a, I think it was last week, Tuesday, we had a meeting. They was like, they don't want us to wear scrubs. They don't want us to wear flip-flops. We can't have cell phones on the shift. Um, what else they were saying? Our time have to be in before the 10th of every month. And I'm just like, oh, see, we ain't had all this with my old company. My old company, and if y'all hear storming in the back, it's because we have like a thunderstorm down here. So if y'all hear that in the background. But yeah, my old company is like, if you got to take off, just tell us a week in advance. And they didn't care because they were paying double and triple. They'll have somebody take your spot. Anybody going to take your spot for that guap. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to be like, oh, Capri ain't coming in. That's fine. I'll take her spot and get paid double. But this company, y'all not giving nothing. Y'all not giving nothing, but y'all want to take, take, take. Y'all need people to work weekends. Y'all want people to work doubles, but y'all ain't trying to give nothing. And then on top of that, once you work 40 hours, after that, you're working for Uncle Sam. So there is no need for you to work more than your 40 hours. But they don't understand that. They're like, oh, I'll pay you a time and a half. I'm like, nah, you good. You ain't got to pay me no time and a half because I ain't coming in. But anyway, I don't want to sound like I'm venting. But if you guys have been going through this with your job, like they're doing more of a take than a give, it is time to go. I don't care who you work for. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you love your job. If you're feeling drained when you get home, mentally, physically, it is time to go. And Uncle Joe is giving out too much money for you not to be creative and think off the top of your head like, what is it that I really love to do that I feel like people would buy from me? I'm sorry, somebody Somebody was texting me. Um, what, what's, what's, you know, what can I do that's creative that I really love to do? Knit, sew, wash cars, shop for people, DoorDash. It's just too many things out here that people need 
from another person that you are the only one to give in this world. Let me let y'all in on a little secret. So my husband started door dashing like two weeks ago. He talked about it before and I was just like, I don't want you out there. The world is crazy. You know, I don't want you out there door dashing. So then finally, this one girl told me about it. I was looking on YouTube and she was like, she door dashed, but she doesn't do it um, late at night. Like she does it before the sun goes down and she was saying how much money she make and she does it like Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, or sometimes if she don't do it Sunday and Monday, she'll do it Friday, Saturday or whatever. And she was just saying how much she made. So I told my husband, I was just like, you know, go ahead and try it. You know, just be home before, you know, you know, the, the moon catches you or whatever. Honey, my husband made more money in a day that I made, that I make in a day. And I make something in a day. I mean, ain't a whole butt, but I do make a little something, something in a day. And I'm like, if you make that in a day, I might as well quit. And I need the DoorDash. But I'm just saying, it's just like, it's too many other things out here that you could do and you're on your time. You don't have to worry about somebody down your back in your face or emailing you every second like what you're doing and stuff it just gets so mentally draining and stressful and I did not know until my husband told me that you could file your 1099 with DoorDash because you're practically like your own boss your own entrepreneur because you're making up your hours and it's so easy to DoorDash all you got to do download the app put in what type of vehicle you're driving once you get all your stuff you put dash all of the restaurants pop up that need you. You click where you're going and boom, it is so easy. Now, I don't DoorDash, but my husband, he does DoorDash and he seems to enjoy it. It gets him out the house. Um, it gets the kids out the house because sometimes they go with him. But it, it's just it's just on his time. We could still have family time. If I want to go with him, that's fine. There was a young boy that came to our house when we ordered Chinese one day or something. No, we order wings. He had his girlfriend on the side. He had his best friend in the back. I was like, okay, y'all, y'all having a little party, huh? But it was on his time. He wasn't under nobody on his back. He just picked up the food, deliver it, and got paid within 30 minutes. So look into DoorDash, look into Uber Eats, look into, uh, I think, no, Postmates is Uber Eats, but look into these new millennial things even though I'm 35 years old, these new millennial things are saving me the, the, the stress of being on somebody's job. Now, I do have good news coming up very, 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 very soon. I'm so excited. I want to tell you guys, but I can't tell you now because I have to wait for it to actually bloom and evolve. But I am super excited. I want to tell all my tea spillers. I have 266 subscribers as of today. I just looked on there. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for clicking subscribe and for rocking with me. And I promise you guys, like, it's going to get better. It can only go up from here. It's going to get better. I'm going to have new places to go to to show you guys new things that I'm doing. I'm trying to show you guys how to get wealth, how to go from rags to riches. Because if you go all the way back in my videos, and I'm going to look again because I like to say, go check out my old videos and then it'll be up there. Because when I was on my little hiatus, I did erase a good bit of videos that weren't really getting any views. And I said that I was going to do them over. But if I'm not mistaken, if you go back, back, like all the way back three years ago in my video, you will see that I was living, my husband and I and the kids, we were living in my mom's backyard until we were able to purchase our first home. So I want you guys to look through my videos, like and share my videos. I'm, I'm just a local, basic, simple, down to earth female that lives in Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm just trying to get it like everybody else. I ain't trying to be no celebrity or nothing like that. But I just want to show you guys that. It can happen for you. Anything that you want manifest, if it's for you, it's for you. My mom always say, honey, you don't have to beg, borrow, nor steal, baby. So at the end of the day, please check out my videos, like, subscribe, share them. Also, check out my shop, Pisces Moon Goddess. It's a spiritual shop. If you're anything spiritual and you need to center, balance yourself, please 
check out Pisces Moon Goddess. All links are down below. And I love you guys. And again, be safe. COVID is still out. I guess it's still out. You got some people that took the vaccine and they walking around with no mask on. Whatever. I still wear my mask. But comment down below. Let's get a conversation started. Are you tired of your job? Are you ready to be your own boss? Are you ready to be an entrepreneur, a small business owner? Are you ready to get the own and vacation whenever you want a vacation? Let's get this party started. But anyways, let me go. Hopefully she'll be here soon, but I can go on to my babies. Bye.